<sighs> Boom, confirmed. Waiting, and yes, it shows up. The entire chain of actions was consistent. So I came across this channel, right here. Yeah, the one you're seeing now. Lots of comments, screenshots, people claiming it actually works. Some even mention a secret code that gives a boost. That caught my attention. Let's see what it's all about. Now I'm on my laptop, heading to the browser. Just typing in the name, and here's the bot. No installs, no signups, it's all working inside the browser. I tap the link and it opens up instantly. <laughs> Smooth so far. There's something oddly satisfying about when things just work right away. No setup, no configuration. Okay, looks like the assistant is loading, syncing with the app. Give it a few seconds. While that happens, let me tell you why I'm even doing this. I've been working in IT for over seven years. I like digging into how crypto tools and web-based apps are built, how stable they are, how they behave under real use, and whether they're even worth your time. I've tested dozens of crypto-related platforms, from browser miners to airdrop claimers, and I'm always looking for something new that actually performs well. This isn't a sponsored video, there are no links, and I'm not offering financial advice. And we're in. The game launched. Looks clean. First thing I'm doing is activating it using a special field, tapping here, entering something, pressing confirm. Okay, no issues. Let's keep going. Before that, let me quickly test a few more things to make sure everything runs as expected. Don't worry, we'll get back to the code. Now I'm back on the phone. I'm opening the interactive zone and doing a quick action from another app. I tap, enter the info, approve it, and jump back. No delays, everything runs smooth, nothing glitches out. It's interesting how the app handles these switches. Some apps freeze when you leave them, but this one seems to maintain the session properly. The interaction between the phone and the assistant running on my laptop is seamless. Every move I make is instantly reflected and tracked. Time to revisit that code section. I saved a few test codes from earlier trials. Let me tap into the field again. Typing, confirming, and yep, it's accepted. No issues. If this one ever stops working, feel free to check other videos. I often test new ones and share what's working at the moment. Eventually, the assistant pauses and hints that we can continue further by unlocking an advanced mode. This caught my attention, and I wanted to see how that part functions technically. So I switch to another tab, do a few quick taps, and return to the original screen. That's it. it took me less than a minute. The session remained active. The assistant picked up where we left off. So I'm looking at the assistant on my laptop and just following its instructions on the phone. It says to tap here. I do that. Then over here, I follow along. What surprises me is how consistent the output is. I'm not analyzing every move, just copying what I see, and it lands correctly each time. I kept testing different variations, short bursts, holding for a second, switching screens, and the flow remained steady. There were no lockups or forced reloads, even when I tried multitasking. The app doesn't log you out or freeze, which is honestly rare in browser-integrated crypto tools. I decided to stretch the session a bit longer and see how it performs over time. Some platforms start showing their flaws after a few rounds, but here everything still worked like clockwork. The logic the assistant uses seems minimalistic but accurate. No extra complexity, just follow the pattern and it works. And that's kind of the point. People want crypto tools that are effective without needing a deep understanding of blockchain algorithms. The assistant indicates a major result is coming and I finish the sequence. Boom, confirmed. The outcome matches what was expected. Solid result, no weird transitions, no cutoffs. I've tested similar things where the interface lags right when something important happens. That didn't happen here. Every transition made sense. So now we get to the final stage, the part everyone always asks about. And about the code, the fact that it went through without delay or errors is a really good sign. Apps that still maintain their systems usually process such things immediately. If you ever used a promo and it failed for no reason, that usually signals back-end neglect. Here, 
Everything fired instantly. Refreshing. Waiting. And yes, it shows up. Exactly what I expected. No surprises. I check details again, just to be sure, and it lines up perfectly. The entire chain of actions was consistent. No resets, no double checks needed. I have to say the bot did its job. Smooth instructions, no nonsense, and very aligned with what the game actually shows.